Whoa, we're live. Hey, good evening, everyone. I don't know. Um, this is going to be a great stream. I'm already feeling it. I'm so ready. It's going to be a marathon. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a marathon. We got three games cast tonight. We're going to get high octane energy. My name is Kyle. Um, I am captain of the Cornell College Rocket League team. And then I have my subordinate, Maddie, uh, who's also on the Rocket League team. <laughs> Okay. Subordinate it, it, goes okay. crazy. Subordinate. Kyle hates women. No, no, nope, that's not the takeaway. Anyway, um, yeah, so tonight uh, we've got three matches for y'all, Overwatch. Um, first off, we've got um, Cornell facing off against Carthage. Carthage. I, can, I can do I can do my, my fancy little logos. I'll have to see where these end up having to go, but I got my I fancy little logos. I need to make logos. them a little bit smaller. There's not quite that much space between the... We'll we'll see we'll see I'll hide them away the for logos. now. We don't need the logos. We don't need the logos. But they're cool. Fine. Um, Maddie isn't... made an executive decision that we don't need the logos. But anyway, um, we subordinate. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was a little out of line. My bad. Um, no, do you know I'm gonna be making fun of you for this. We're 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 casting nine games of Overwatch tonight, and I'm gonna be making fun of Kyle for that. For oh all my of gosh, them. it is nine games, isn't it? Yeah, because they're best of threes, but they play all three regardless. So it will be nine games that we are broadcasting for you to you yeah it would be some great content um yippee yippee uh yeah so i'm oh gosh i don't remember names all i know is quirky oasis is gavin gator fan is graham actually i think i do chalky Marcus Marcus is Tim. Tim. mischiefs is trey or vic is trey no vic is max mischiefs is trey i think i don't think vic is max i i had this somewhere i don't, I don't know max. there are a lot of names colva and, is grant and everyone everyone has Everyone has two names. Everyone has two names, and I barely remember the first, so... That's real and true. Very this real is the true. struggle of gamers, and also trans people. Okay. <laughs> Valid. Chat, um, I'm trans. It's yeah, okay. Yeah. I can say it. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, and officially, we've hit the two-minute delay. Uh, yeah, so it is a two-minute delay. Uh, we are officially live. Um, well, we were officially live two minutes ago. It's just... We're, we're two minutes in the future. We're time travelers, actually. No, actually, we're at the same time. You're just seeing us two minutes in the past at any given moment. I don't have enough brain power to logic that out. Um, well, then just trust me. Okay. Support. All right. Looks like we're going to get underway here. Um, yeah. And it's, with that, it's gamer time. And with that, it's gamer time. It's been a second since I've, uh, you know... Is my headphones connected? I mean, audio's coming out on the that. Oh, now they're disconnected. Uh oh. You still hear us, chat? Actually, wait, no. Wait, we're no, two minutes into the That's not future. how that works. It's not gonna help. All right, now I'm connected again on headphones. I've got sound on my headphones. There's no real sound going on in games, so I don't have music going on. Um, but there will be some audio. Uh, again, if there are any audio issues or y'all have any issues with the audio balancing, please let us know. Um, or if you have issues with any of the casters, how yeah. it could be replaced. <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Um, <laughs> looks like we're getting into map bands here. Um, yeah, oh, and exciting. Uh, we are going to be casting uh, the JV Overwatch game at 9 o'clock. We do have a JV team for Overwatch, which will be very exciting. We have not had the opportunity to have them on stream yet, um, so looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, and also... Tomorrow, in about 24 hours, you will be able to catch the Rocket League nope, team. we don't have a game tomorrow, Maddie. I'm going to cry. <laughs> but Kira and Eliza said they would cast. Uh, that's great. I don't know what they'd be casting because we don't have a game tomorrow. Since when? Since since activation matches were done. This is the last week of activation. Our, we get our schedule on Friday, and then season starts. But can we do a scrim and have them cast it? They, they're really excited to cast. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll see what I can do. And we've been promising the audience us all week. Uh, uh, yep. Um, so maybe we'll you'll see us playing Rocket League tomorrow. Maybe, maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. We, you got to keep you on your toes, honestly. We do. <sighs> Eventually we'll get into this. Okay, Li Zhang was their producer is ready. I gotta outproduce them. I mean, we will all produce them. No, they they there, actually beat us. There's not a caster duo that's better than us, though. For real, no. But they're they're like talk because we don't have a Cornell College like Battle.net account or like I made one, but I need a phone number. Oh right, so um, it doesn't have the username. And so I don't have a phone number. You just need to change your Bnet tag to. But I Cornell still play this game every now and then. So you can play as Cornell Stream. But it, I think it costs me five dollars to change it. No, the first one's free. 
I think I've changed it before. Oh. Can you get Jack to reimburse you? I... <laughs> There's no I'm, way. I'm sure. There's no I'm way. sure. I don't know. There's no way Jack will reimburse you. All right. Okay. Well, they're going slowly through vans. I wish we had, uh, you know, waited until they were in... Oh! Cornell is playing this game. It would see we're live. Oh my god, it's us. Oh my god, oh, it's wait, so wait. Us. No, I don't want an echo. Now, yeah, don't I don't have sound on. I don't have sound on. I was just checking to make sure stuff is right. Okay, we're in the game. And it's going to be Busan for our first map here. We're going to be coming on to Sanctuary. It looks like we are on Busan Rainy, which is an interesting change of pace. Okay, one second. Wait, why is it? What's happening? Okay, one second. Oh, right. We're trying to get the logos for you all. All right. Logos it's have all good. been applied. All right. And now I'm going to disable the preview because it makes it lag. All right. Getting into it. This is a map. Good call. I, good I, call, I, I'm so... Okay. I, this is a very open map, so it's going to be really useful for those sort of sniper compositions. And that's what I'd expect to see these teams running. But it's... They were talking about the ball comp in the arena. I didn't think they would actually do it. Well, looks like they will be. All right. So this composition, Ball, Tracer, Genji, all heroes that can get in there on your backline and do a lot of damage real quickly. So the name of the game here is going to be Assassinate Supports, then Kill Everyone Else, and everything in this team comp is dedicated specifically towards that goal. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, it's got to take a lot of coordination to get this going. Um, but I'm pretty sure Cornell can execute it. We're going we're gonna to be on Ball Cam here to start. Graham on uh, Hammond. Moving on in here. You see the amount of mobility. Like we're, on ball cam. we're on ball cam. All right, going around the back. We'll see what... Looking for that Ana. Looking for the pile driver. Finds oh, it. Down. Smashing five hit there. Gets the shielding up and then gets out of there using the DPS now to go around. Get some damage down. On a low. low. She's assassinated. The Mercy's gonna look for the res, but her life is forfeit as well as Trocky Mole finds everyone, and that's the perfect assassination exactly as described, and that's a clean first fight for Cornell. Uh, Trocky Milk, which I believe is Trey, getting three kills right off the bat. That's a great way to start this match. Trocky Milk is Tim. Trocky Milk is Tim. I knew that. I'm sorry, Tim. I love you. Oh, he's just AFK. He's popping off. Probably. He's popping off. He's alive. Standing up, AFK. cheering. Yep. Alright, it's a swap onto the Zarya. Those bubbles potentially able to counteract a lot of that burst damage. Effective strategy. And you just getting some poking here with the true things. Yeah, you can see the slam comes through and the bubbles are used in response. The anti does come through the Zarya, some poke apply. Fox um, Milk continuing to harass the Zarya. Dash out there. Oh my goodness, Vic! On that brig, just absolutely pummeling. The red comes down to the Kiriko, but. Very difficult for this one to work out. Did really a great job. Yeah, very nice kill. Quirky Oasis, I think, helping out as well. Cornell functioning on all sides like a well-oiled team here. Holding Carthage in their spawn, basically. Carthage hasn't even had a contest on point yet at this point. Uh-huh, point, point. Um, yeah. It's like going this next engage here. Wanna take a bit of that poke. The mines do come yep. through, and that's going to be difficult for them to deal with. Good bash takes down the Kiriko, and the supports have once again fallen first for Carthage. Yeah, I'm chasing in on here. Trying to not let the Sojourn down here. And that's going to be some help from the Genji, and that's going to be a Sojourn down. Staggered desperately, and now we're already starting to get into final fight territory with 25% left, but the Sojourn is still spawning. 87% on that blade, and then we've got Nano up as well. Probably looking at a Nano blade here. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the most big, big. big. Wow, and then Chalk and Tim gets a. That's both supports down. Oh my goodness, and the anti grenade finds two as well. Kiriko not around the coins with the bell, and that's gonna be. That's gonna be all she wrote for this first one. I mean, Nano blade not even necessary. Nobody's alive to touch this point, and. Go Rams. Oh, gonna pop a blade already. For, wow, for some BM, it looks like. Overall, great job um, by Cornell there. Full 100% there. And again, this is not a best of three. This is three games played. Um, so regardless of the outcomes of these matches, three games will be played. We got to get you all the content possible. Don't worry. I think just going, it looks like JV just finished up their first game. I know they're going out to dinner later. Unfortunately, we couldn't catch their uh, first game on stream as Maddie and I had a scrim for Rock League beforehand, and we also have to eat because we're living beings. Um, yeah, really. We should just be in corporeal, like, form spirits. 
That would be neat. Tim here on the Widow. All right, let's get let's get the Widow cam yeah, here we as we get started. Donkey Milk going to be looking to pop open some heads into the sky. Oh, looking for that Farah. That was a dangerous one. The Mercy potentially also exposed, but the Widowmaker knocked it down. going to make that uncomfortable. It's just on the Soldier will also be able to put pressure on the Farah. Double hit scan, a good answer to this far Mercy. Lucio using that speed and healing to get Junker Queen in. Junker Queen, big kick on the Rhine. Now moving it on the Soldier. Great picks from uh, Graham here on the Junker Queen, all aided by that Lucio. And meanwhile, Widowmaker finds the catch on the Farah. Gator, flank. Gator fan blanks to the back, takes down the Mercy. And it's going to be a swap onto the Widowmaker for ZKC. Going to be hoping to match Chalky Milk's prowess with the aim. Let's see how Chalky Milk... Oh, Chalky Milk is taking that. Junker Queen just establishing that front line here. The only DPS up on the side of Cornell is this soldier, but they're still holding them at the choke here. Let's get more killed out from Baptiste. It's already great. Looks like uh, Cartridge is switching out of the ball here. We'll have to see how that adjusts their strategy going into this. Lucio Aces falls, and that's going to leave Cornell a little bit short on healing. If only we see to help them out. Slam coming through. Tim. Tim falls again as Widow. Yeah, unfortunate. But we're getting the Junk Queen in here. That's one support down. Cool. Now trying to get the damage on the Mercy. Great. Yeah, and that ball is just going to be taking so much damage. And now with no support to potentially help, we'll have to run back to spawn. Great. And that's Cornell. Maintaining control here now with all their players back. The Widowmaker falls finally to miss just rockets. And Rocky Milk, he switched onto the Genji and ZKC disengages from the Widow Duel as well. Going on the Time for the reckoning! Cornell not really feeling the need to overextend themselves here. I say that as they get closer and closer to the spawn, Graham takes some damage. Graham yeah, is going to fall. As Graham overextends, you say that. Yeah, I know. Bad timing. Cast a curse, I guess. That's for a curse. That's real. Genji a tempo. Quite a bit of damage there. And yeah, staggered out. And it's going to be a force type back for Cornell as one is taken down, but Cornell down so many players. Kiriko trying to escape the clutches of the angry you got that visor. Oh, visor rush. That's going to be so much damage coming through. The reload is forced so quick. Oh, that's two. That rush. Mercy will be there as well. Potential for a res, but so many are dying here. Even a res wouldn't matter. This just goes crazy with that's it. That's a 4k. Four. And that's going to be the first map just already done. Very excellent retaliation from Cornell, despite losing some players at the start of that engagement. Did well to fight back. Use that powerful ultimate combination in a versatile way mid fight to give it to him. Yeah, that was that was really great. I think that'll end up being play the game as well. Oh, it will not. We'll get Graham here as as play the game. But again, in that last look at that hamper. Go. We got We got to check out the hamper real quick. That's one of those. Here we go. I guess my damage in this area. Oh, and it's gonna be the pile drive. <laughs> no, no pile drive. Actually, I thought. Attack up the wall. I don't understand how this. I don't know how this got play either. But it's like two kills. Speaking of that last game. Uh, that last uh, attack, that last little defense there, that was really good by Cornell, recognizing that they were outnumbered, taking that time to get back, but then also knowing that they did have those ultimates online. That uh, that rush on top of the visor, a deadly combo. Um, certainly worked out for Cornell there. So, yeah. Uh, it looks like we're going into... Uh, Escort. Hmm? Escort is Escort. the map type we're going to be going into here as Cornell bans Shambhali Monastery. And getting a few uh, little lags on my end. Uh, let me know if stream is okay. Um, Have we been lagging? I've been noticing it. Maybe it's just because this isn't. Maybe this monitor may not be on 180 hertz for um, performance reasons. Yeah. For... Oh, it's borderless windowed. Wait, frame rate's automatic. We should. Yeah, no, it's it's because it's borderless windowed. Um, okay. I'm gonna go get a coke. Okay, I will be you right do back. that. Got to get some refreshments. Yeah. Got to get that sponsored by the Atlantic Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Indeed. Oil Esports Beverage. I don't have my ID. It's a great plug. All if right. you sponsor us, you too can receive plugs like this on our stream constantly. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's good now that it's in full screen. Let's see what we there. All right. Ten minutes in, the stream, getting that content out here. A little break as we're looking to map picks on match two. I believe it's in Carthage's uh, choice as to what 
they want to stick around with. But yeah. I've got a quote live from the players themselves from Graham as I came into the arena and mentioned his brief overextension on downtown. He said, I'm turbo feeding here. Okay. So we'll see how that attitude takes them as the series continues. Overall, Cornell was playing pretty confident. Overconfident, one might even say. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, <laughs> sorry. That wasn't meant to be a joke. That was I, meant I, to be a commentary I, on their mental state. No, I well, I thought you were making a joke because Overwatch, overconfident, and I thought you put like emphasis on it. I put emphasis on it because you said confident, and I was trying to say that maybe it was too confident. I wasn't trying to make a weird pun with Overwatch. That would be weird and unfunny. I can't yeah. believe you even Definitely, thought of that, Yeah, Kyle. for sure. <laughs> nothing, nothing you or I would ever do, for sure. Of course. We're funnier than that. We are. We rise above. All right. Looks like we're still taking a sec to get into this next one. Chimbali is banned. Um, Cornell's asking Cambridge for their map pick. Yeah, uh, Cath Carthage. Yeah, right, not Cambridge. Yeah. Um, and looks like Carthage is going to have a sub in as well. Um, switching out someone for someone. J Tulu for Bum Bum. Well, I'm not going to get much rest in between this game and their next either. Um, as we're already at that 7.23, they've got two maps left, left to play, and they've got the 8 o'clock. Um, but yeah. It's like Junker Town will be the map pick. We'll see how that unfolds. We will. No yawning. We got we got Overwatch to cast, Maddie. That's why I'm drinking a caffeinated soda. Valid. I'm so valid. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Do I have to do prod R every time? I should probably do prod R every time. Probably. Yeah. Help alleviate people's anxiety. Yeah. You know, Overwatch players known for being really anxious. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying yes to things at this point. I don't... I'm not having... Oh, wait, did I... Actually, I think the stream title was correct. Let me check that. What? Cornell College for this... Yeah, Carthage. All right, cool. Sorry about the Valkyrie noises. Woohoo, getting pumped. Thank you, Leaker929. We we're certainly... Pumped. We're just as pumped. We are unbelievably pumped. On a scale of one to pumped, we're pumped. That's the best call I've ever heard, Kyle. Oh, we got the Doomfist. Please stick it. In honor of Taskmaster. In honor of Taskmaster. May Darian. he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. You can't see me, but I'm saluting right now. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's take a look at this map here. If you'll let me go to the objective. Alright, Junker Town. I will eventually get better at this recam stuff. Because it feels a little jarring. It doesn't feel as smooth. I go through the wall. Yeah, so this is an escort map. You see this little blue line? Oh, we're not gonna get we're not gonna get the uh Doomfist, unfortunate. Yeah. And it looks like it is gonna be heavily favoring these sort of sniper and very damage focused compositions. Even in the support lines you can see the Alari, Baptiste, and Zenyatta, all no heroes that are highly no focused on dealing damage, poking down those Sigma shields that both sides are using and just trying to take down those fragile but dangerous DPS players. That's going to be the name of the game for everybody. It's going to be about Kolba versus ZKC, ZXC. Who can be finding those picks on the Widowmaker? Other players also matter, but like, those Widowmaker picks can be very decisive. We saw, I believe, I don't believe Kolba was on the Widowmaker last map, but we did say we see a Widowmaker. Kolba was not in the game last Kolba was not in the game last map, but we did see a Widowmaker on the side of Kunel. No, Chucky Monk's on the ladder. Yep. Um. Ooh, oh, great beautiful pick. headshot for Kolva. We won. Looking for more. Looking for more. Oh, well, the oh, there was a I moved away from the second. That's another pick onto the soldier there. Yeah. Kolva. Great shots. Great work for Kolva. Going to be able to do so much damage in this situation. Sigma getting poked out as well. The Widowmaker oh. finds the shot. It's going to be ZKC. Finding his mark the second time. Gator fan, meanwhile, on the single boat on that space on the front line, the immortality. He's gonna rock the Sigma out of it, still doing damage, still dealing so much damage, and Turkey Oasis with the help of this score. We're gonna take him down. The rest of the players fall one by one in the back of the Really great coordination from Graham and Gavin there. That Discord orb, along with the Sigma, uh, just 
basic fire. I didn't figure what that's exactly called. I don't know. Uh, doing a lot of damage very quickly. The orbs. Orbs of doom. Let's get back on the Widow here. Yeah, our is still looking for the attention of the pressure. You can see the doom coming through. Trying to light up those suns, finds a kill onto two players, is traded out as a result. That Widowmaker chased back into spawn, but Cornell, they've burned two and a half minutes off the clock, and their defense holds strong. Great job from Cornell here. Looking similar to last map, just having a strong hold, just in general. Just that Widow up top. Got a sniper duel. We'll be looking for the used will catch three. The able to do so much damage here, and the immortality field needed to keep these players up. Still, they're so low, and Forky Oasis finds a pick on the Widowmaker. Meanwhile, that'll unleash Cole, but let him keep without fear. Oh, guys, unfortunately died earlier in the engagement. I must say, on the that was a great immortality field, but now we're talking about Cornell. And Sigma putting in work. That's a rock. Wow. Really solid. Graham playing really well here. Uh, Cornell as a whole, really just showing their uh, coordination and strengths as a team. Yeah. Yeah. So that a minute 40 left. But there's still this time. You got the infrareds come up. There has been a switch onto Hanzo. Going to be potential for the Widowmaker to be taken down by those arrows. Brawling in vain here. Sun comes out and it's gonna take down Chunky Mulk with all of that applies. Ooh, good kill pick from Morty. Morty here. Look, it has the transcendence, looks like they're not gonna use it way too engaged. Oh, and it's a good big block. That'll trigger the transcendence. The Gator fan isolated and will get healed up by that transcendence now. And he's gonna back up and brawl. have a park here. Bob here to help as well. The immortality is, or the window is deployed. That's gonna do so much damage, melting Bob. Gator fan in some danger tries to kite outside the window, but Quirky Oasis has fallen. Big Flux pop on the other side now, and it's in combination with wow. Chalky Milk's ultimate, which finds four. Chalky Milk doing incredible work, and it's just the Sigma to handle, and you know that'll happen fast. That's the synergy unending from Cornell here, that Alariel with the Sigma ult doing work onto the Karth uh, team. Really great job. And again, they're going to hold far up here. Only 30 seconds left on the clock. Probably one push for the garbage. Yeah. yeah. Um, they do have the Hanzo ult, but this seems to be the only ult in play here yeah, on both sides. Uh, Gatorfan tries very hard to catch that one. Yes, yeah, so PPS down. No. Oh my goodness, those one Storm Arrows did so much. Now Chalky Milk trying to fill the role of the DPS, but not quite able to do so. Repositioning, trying to help out the Sigma, but Orissa will run him down as well. Chalky Milk, he's alone, trying to do some damage, but can't even take down the Hanzo. And in overtime, it looks more than likely that Carthage will be able to get their first checkpoint. Have to see if, you know, decides to re-engage. It looks like they're not going to. Yeah. I mean, better to just get the positioning on second point, give yourself that immediate response. Although you do actually, I believe someone got back spawned there, which is a little bit unfortunate. Cornell will be fighting for a moment. But does find that pick, and that'll make it 4v4. Does Cornell sometimes stabilize, get that person who got bad spawn? Or back on whatever the um, Yeah, just holding this angle from high ground here. High ground, very important. Yeah, but the Sigma Spears can bounce, so able to actually yeah, more effectively than you might think. Yeah, just turning the window peeking from the same angle here. Mortality already forced, and that's going to be a thing. great headshot from Mischiefs. The Wintermaker roll has swapped, Colt is going to be on the server now. The versatility. Martin Wolf did fall in that situation, but Peter Fan is to help out his team keep this forward space. And now the Gravitic Flux almost ready as well. Cornell doing so well on the ultimate economy right now. Graham really taking that opportunity to get the space, get some poke damage in, get that flux all set and ready to go for this next team fight here. A lot more ults coming up on side of Cornell. It's a great ult management. More true. Why is this thing faster than All right, that is should be that better. Up. Yep. Yeah, that looks a little better. I think maybe we should even turn the desktop audio down just a touch. I'm getting into the yellow. Okay, that's better. That looks that's, that looks a lot better. 
Okay, alright. Eliza, tell us if... Is, oh, that's a nice dramatic clock. Using it to reposition to high ground, but speared by the Orisa, and that's going to be cancelled. Still pressuring out the Ilari, able to get that kill. DKC finds two with the Hanzo, but Chalky Milk in the back line catches one. It's going to be a two for two trade, now three. And it's going to be so close here as just the stragglers from each team remain. I believe three versus two is the situation. Quirky Oasis fell, but ultimately Cornell will clean up the fight, but it's scrappy. Yeah. Good job by Cornell holding it there. I was a bit distracted trying to make sure the stream is all set. We are going into the yellow a little bit on. Going into the yellow is fine. Going okay. into the yellow is fine. Alright. It's just the red that gets like largely avoided. Like, the red should be like when it is the and the red is the main. So it's like. Gator actually pushed off the high ground there, and the window is going to be used, putting him in some danger. Got the troops and it's coming out from Zenyate here. Olva still does get caught. And it's going to be that tactical advisor doing so much to transcendence with the attempts to counter it out. It's largely effective. But anyway, the team is doing good. That's talking about a couple of kills. Mischief's helping out. Crazy Mage does get one on DKC. It's done as well. But the health is so low and without those supports, you're just not going to be staying in the and actually, we've already reached overtime somehow, and the stream situation caused us to be a little distracted. Our apologies, but in any case, that is the mark. That is the mark. It looks like Cornell going to take that on defense. Pretty solid hold. Would have been nice if they could keep the first point, um, but with the confidence and, and uh, synergy Cornell is playing with right now, I'm certainly not worried about them getting uh, this far on attack, and yeah. I don't think they are either. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly possible to hold a team at first point. As you can see, Cornell almost managed it, but it's not super likely. It's not what you would expect to occur in most cases, and I don't expect it to occur here either. Gavin's yeah, saying diggery-doo in chat. I don't... Didgeridoo. Didgeridoo? Didgeridoo. 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 We were actually having a conversation about this at lunch, so I do feel confident in that pronunciation. Mm -hmm. One of my friends just ordered a didgeridoo. I don't even know what that is. It's kind of instrument. Oh, cool. It's originally and from Australia, which is part of why Junkertown, the map of Australia, is causing Gavin. Graham is we indeed nuts. Yeah. We definitely agree. We're, we're, we're agreeing with you two minutes later. Yeah. yeah. You are the number one gator sim. When was that? After he just like brawled everybody out on the I, I think that. so. It was probably oh, after. Oh, wait, he, I can see it now. It was probably after he flushed and then got speared. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I mean, it was a good play. He did still get the kills for it, even though the Flux got no value. It is going to be a Bastion play for Carthage here, and it looks like a little bit of desperation even. It's outside of the meta for this map severely. It is able to burn down the Sigma Shield, but it's so easily kited around by a team. That Bastion falls so low. Almost going to be looking for these shots onto this Widow. Mischief's further forward looking for the shots with the Ash. Everybody burning down, so much damage being applied. Colva's pushing forward, only 36 health, but pushing fearlessly. Not a care in the world. Healed up by that turret. And it is going to be looking for shots once again. The Bastion uses that shift. Will get some damage in, but Gator Fan will get the adaptive shielding as a result. Steered off the cart. It's going to be the Arisa play once again. It's a strange composition. The Sigma has been considered more effective generally on this map, and you can see why. Widowmaker does find a shot on Colva, but. Still the pressure for Ooh, Cornell. Pick. Nice with the Discord Orb as well. And the, and the, excuse me, the Dynamite. Keep everybody burning down. The Bastion is resurrected, but not long for this world. Brilliant. Cornell. Brilliantly done by Graham there. Applying the pressure, creating that space, forcing that Mercy Res out, and then immediately punishing for it. And it almost looks done. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we've got, uh, we're close to Flux, uh, on Cornell's end. Oh, uh, pushing forward now, though. Good. Got, uh, on that Widow pick. So just holding the window here. Cornell's got a pretty solid establishment here. Um, slowly but surely moving forward. It does look like Carthage is going to try and get every one of the engagements. They wanted it, but the Gravitic Flux is going to keep him around. Yeah, yeah, they get it! Touch. Yeah. Graham, in tight and close space with that Sigma is not where you want to be. Pushing up. I mean, but you can shoot around the corners in a way that almost no other character can with the rocks. I was saying you don't want to be trapped with Sigma in the yeah. enclosed room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Lisa also dangerous in this situation, but oh my goodness, Chalky Milk lights it up. The sunrise comes for you, 
and everybody burning. The attempt is made for a counter ultimate of the same kind, and we'll find a couple, especially with the Hanzo helping out, but it's not going to be enough. 25 meters and counting, and that looks like that'll just be the map. Yeah. Cornell, another map dub. Really well done. Yeah. I mean, that ultimate from Chalky Milk in that enclosed space, you really just gotta stop yourself from ever coming into a situation like that against the Alari. She lights you up with that ultimate. It. It's done. Yeah. It's done. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Look at that. Like, oh, this isn't even the one I thought it was. This was the one that comboed with the Flux. But yeah, I mean, I guess he did kill four in this play and helped out with the fifth as well. Kept somebody alive. He did work. That deserves to be play. Work was indeed put in on Cornell's side. Going into map three here, definitely happy about the two wins, gonna want the three. They technically already won the series, but it does matter for reasons unbeknownst to me. Um, seeding. It's for seeding. seeding. Well, 3 is different than a 2-1 for seeding. Because there are going to be a lot of ties, like, you only play four activation matches, teams with a 3-1 record are all going to be the same, but there's a difference between a 2-1 and a 3-0, and that's where that comes into account. So this map does matter. It, all that this map say. certainly does matter. I don't think Cornell is stressing about it all that much, but we shall see. It is push, so, you know, you can set yourself the little bonus challenge of a full capture, if you if you so please. Oh, it's annoying me. I'm seeing in the replay now that the Carthage logo was a little bit over, is, is a little bit messed up. Oh, yeah. But, you know, oh, it's wow, okay. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, right, because it changes. It for changed, I, I forgot the UI changed like that. Yeah, you need to enable the preview and fix it. That's on me. That is on me. Skill issue. On a, it really is a skill issue. NA prog. And, yes. Yes, you're right. It is an A-prod. <laughs> uh, Cornell, looks like they're switching around? Neck really wants to crack, but it won't do it. And I will say that's a skill issue. You're so right. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Coliseo will be picked for the final map of the series. Again, Cornell has already won, but will they make it a clean 3-0? That is the question. That will be answered on this ancient Roman map. Widely considered to be the best of the push maps. Certainly Cornell's favorite to play on. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes everybody else's as well. Should be going in here a sec. Gotta type my fancy prod R. You know, I, I, I try Six my best. Six characters, so fancy. It's, I, it takes skill. I mean, it really does. Um, no one's doing it like him. Truly. I don't know. Just, I don't know if other people are up to the task. Yeah. Um, this is why I only cast with Kyle. Yeah. Also, sometimes Gavin with League of Legends. Yeah. Can't believe you. Oh my with goodness. People. Such a complicated well, set of switches a, coming in from Carthage. Carthage scrambling here, it seems like. Trying to figure out an answer to... Cornell's dominance. Cornell, yeah. I Ooh. mean, it's really been the Alari. Like, in these pivotal team fights where it has come down to like ultimate for ultimate as opposed to just like opening picks settling the fight for Cornell, it has been that what is the name of Alari's ultimate? Face the sunrise. I mean that's what she says, but what's <laughs> it know. called? I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. That's like calling Cassidy's ultimate high noon. <laughs> instead of dead True. eye. I uh, like not knowing things. I, well, okay, I, sorry. Okay. You want to look at here, you know? Okay. What? Well, I'm gonna call it the Sun One until Kyle gives right, me give this me a information. Second. I, I will get you this information. Thank you, Kyle. If Google loads. I mean, we are streaming. We are streaming. So if there's any lag on the stream, it's Kyle's right. fault. Ilari Ultimate. Captive Sun. Captive Sun. That's a weird name. I don't like That's that. That's a sick actually. name, actually. I like that a lot. Bro back Thursday. What? Huh? Send him a question mark. <laughs> this is gonna be Gavin Gav from our team. Yeah. Gavin, fun fact, doesn't wear shoes in the arena. He's got You'd his dogs out. You'd be surprised how many people- I choose not to look. Our teammate, Simon, he does it. No, what? He does. He's off the team. <laughs> I will not tolerate this. Get ready for Throwback Thursday. I... Okay, so so they're gonna be playing some sort of funny comp. I guess. What do you think it's gonna? Oh, it's gonna be Doomfist. Pro... I really yeah, hope, I it's, hope Doomfist. it's Doomfist. I hope it's Doomfist. Taskmaster, our alumni, forever our tank. 
Well, not forever. Our controversial king. And we've got we've got we've got Graham on tank now. Our so controversial obviously. king Darian. Yep. Always, um, you know, a great role model. Um, no, he was not a great role model. Perfectly quiet in the arena. <laughs> um, but yeah, it won't let me go. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> it is true. I, I love, love Darian. Darian Wheeler. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be the Doom Fist! It's gonna be the Doom Fist! It's gonna be the Far Mercy! It's gonna be Quirky Oasis on the Ana. Oh my god, he's gonna be fending for himself in this composition. Quirky Oasis is gonna have so much work to do to stay alive. I mean, just like watching him. You know, like. You know when Darian's a grown. Sexy okay, no, 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 no. You know when a grown person gets swarmed by like six children and they're just trying to like stay standing that's gonna be quirky oasis this entire match just because of the nature of this composition cornell on a very dive heavy composition the ana not mobile not gonna be able to go with them just needs to find her own safe ground and fight to stay alive gator fan gonna be on the doom fist here looking to get that damage in finds the punch counter charges to reinhardt but he's walled immediately and will be burned to the ground trucky milk on the flank looking for this damage but vic has already fallen and cornell i mean it's looking rough yeah not a great start, Graham. Showing that he cannot imitate Darian. No one can. No one can. We'll see. He's gonna still make some attempts at it. It looks like staying on that Doomfist pick, getting some pressure on that Ryan shield. They've got the May on the opposing team, which is not great for Doom already. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it just looks rough with the Ana and the May and the counter charge. I mean, it's gonna be the same thing again. He's just gonna get counter charge, wall, killed. Like, it's literally the exact same thing that happened to him in the last life. Throwback Thursday will be the way to go here for Cornell. Oh! It wasn't Sick. the fire strike that killed him ultimately, but it was hype <laughs> AF. Wow. I hate that fire strike. Yeah, Quirky Oasis actually finds the Ana duel. And that's going to be really low healing left for Karthus here in this situation. Mischief looks for the dive, finds the May. He's going to be looking for more now as Cornell finally finds themselves a fight. Gator fan diving into the back line on this Doomfist. And I will say, as a caster, Doomfist comps are entertaining to watch. I always like that aspect of Darian Wheeler's fascinating presence. DKC escaping with a sliver of health in that situation as Cornell begin to get the bot moving. Big anti! As Chalky Milk's gonna be able to find the enemy Reinhardt. And with the overclock, finds the May and the Lucio as well. Chalky Milk going crazy on the Sojourn. The Ana Punch back. Sleep out the Gator fan, but he kept up. I guess no name was available. The Sojourn taken down. Dodger Strike? Yeah, gonna be used to get out of this dangerous situation. Now we'll have the Empowered Function this time he wants to use it. And Cornell, they're about to take the lead. They will, and they'll be looking for that checkpoint. Yeah, Genji with the blade here. Ana with the Nano. Definitely looking for it here. But they have so much damage that they even need it. I mean, look at it. They found the support there. They're, they're blading anyway. They don't need the Nano, but... They'll take the blade, chopping down that wall, chopping down that may, taking all of that space. And it's going to be Quirky Oasis on cart duty while everyone else, well, everyone else gets to have fun. The life of the support. Yeah, it's true. I can confirm, I have played about 300 hours of support. Just always like that. Okay, Nano certainly comes in now for Gator Man. Oh my goodness, Cornell just lost everyone. I don't wow. know how that happened. That was a white. I didn't even get to really witness this. Doomfist yeah. trying to get out. Preserve okay. the memory of Darien. I think it was a shatter. Looks like Crazy Mage used the shatter. J JT used the sound barrier, and that was just enough. Cornell did make it to that checkpoint. They did not make it past. So it is going to be that common stopping point. But Cornell still with a lead now. Ultimate disadvantage going to make this next fight potentially challenging, but getting close to that overclock, getting close to the meteor strike. Yeah, it's going to be on Chalky Milk to build that up quickly enough to make a difference in this fight. Ooh, oh, oh, Gator Fan Pin taken away from his team. No. Yeah, I mean, throwback Thursday. Throwback Thursday, indeed. That's two and down on the yeah. side of Cornell. Mercy to try and get out here. Sojourn just putting that poke in. She has the overclock, but she doesn't have the support. I mean, she has the Mercy, but that's just not going to be enough to make this one happen, I don't think. Forced back. No, not the space-making capability of the tank. Oh, the tank oh, is back. Speaking of, getting back in here. Has that uh, Meteor Strike 
Give him that slip. Great sleep. But Chalky Hill, meanwhile, finding so much damage. The Tracer dives onto the targets that he body shots. And that's going to be so much damage coming through immediately. Reinhardt dives into the back line to take down Chalky Milk. Will succeed. Oh, oh my god, he won't succeed. Chalky Milk punches the Reinhardt in the face. Imagine an angry German man in large armor comes towards you. You run what? back as fast as you can, but when he gets you in a corner, you just uppercut him in the mouth and he dies. That's what just happened, and it was incredible. Great job, great composure there from Tim. I did not think he was going to live that. Yeah, Cornell getting back to where they were last time. Again, this is a sticking point for most comps on this push map. They've swapped the Zarya on side of Carthage here. Yeah, I don't understand that swap. The Reinhardt seems to be playing well into the Doomfist. Yeah, I, I don't quite know either. Tracer, big pick. Amazing damage they're taking down the May, and the Blizzard was deployed before, but... Rookie Oasis will be the only casualty up in the meanwhile, Cornell finding good damage. Rookie Oasis resurrected right away. Oh, Chalky Milk, he's booped off the edge by the oh. Lucio. Oh my goodness, the head's not coming through on the mischiefs as well. Gator fan looking for the damage, can't quite find it. And it's going to be Cornell wiped once again, but they did get it slightly past the checkpoint. And that is meaningful because it will mean that if Carthage are able to get the bot back to Cornell's side, they won't only need to get it to the checkpoint, they'll also need to cross that line. And that is so important. Yes, cross that line there at that little bit. It's a great stall for Cornell. It gives time for a whole fight to happen if they need to. Here we go. Four minutes, 32 seconds left. Pick. I have just on that tracer. In the back line, gets picked by the soldier. Got Chalk Milk building up the other one. Oh, big anti. Huge anti. Gator fans able to capitalize. Gets so much damage onto the soldier and the Zarya being burned down as well. But DK, oh, DXC God. is fighting so much onto Cornell. Gator fan and Vic both taken down. Chalky Milk trades it out, and it's going to be the Zarya low on health, no friends to help. But not chased down by Cornell, not quite. And the friends will arrive. Cornell recognizes it there that chasing in will probably mean death for both the low Ooh. support. Ooh. Chalky Milk falls so low on health, the Gator fan is going to be pushing forward on this one. Charging up the punch. Going to be looking for the Meteor Strike, potentially drops it. Going to be in there. The beat used to protect the defense is slept, but he's flying. And oh my goodness, this May pushes forward with the power of the beat. Crazy Mage takes down Chalky Milk. It's going to be JT falling as well. It's going to be Mischiefs on the Tracer trying to get this damage in. It's going to be Gator Fan fighting too with the slam. And so much damage it is. The Resurrection comes in onto Chalky Milk and Cornell take the lead in this fight. Going to be chasing down just the Zarya now. Yeah, great job from Cornell there. Doomfist putting in some work. I'm sorry I wasn't there to catch it. Darian, your memory will be honored whether or not you see it on stream. Trust me. All right. Looks like Cornell's getting ready for this next fight here. In terms of ults, they don't have much online coming up on that Valkyrie, but on the side of Carthage, they've got that grab, they've got that nano coming up, and close that May freeze. Dangerous there for Gator fan, but the push continues. 90 meters and counting as Cornell make it less and less likely that a comeback will be achieved. Overall, really great pressure from Cornell. Great composure as well. Sticking with this combo, oh, those guys may have let up on it. Yeah, I mean, the grab was good. Great for Cornell, though. Three versus one on the grab. Yeah, I don't understand how that happens. I genuinely don't like, either. That grab caught four of Cornell's players. People should have died. Yeah. People I... just needed to die there, and the fact that that didn't happen, honestly, like, that's a nail in the coffin. Cornell, now they're looking to full cap. I think they got the res there on someone, or was that least in res animation? Yeah, someone died. Someone did die, but it was not for long. Getting that damage on the back line here. We've got this tracer full spot. Rocky Milk falls early, and it's going to be the Blizzard making things kind of hard for Cornell. Pokemon in its place. Nice stick yeah. onto the base. Two! That's two! Beautiful! Looking for a third. The Sojourn's oh, so low, it. but falls to the hammer of the Reinhardt. And that Reinhardt just so effective. Quirky Oasis, the last one remaining, will have to run. 129 meters to 45, though, and I mean, that's a good situation. Oh, so much damage. Almost catches the Moira. Needs Ooh, to back that up healing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I physically moved in my chair to dodge the fire strike. It's fair. Yeah, okay, I saw it. Me. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. um, he gets the wiggles on. I get the wiggles. Anyway, Cornell, great distance. Oh, big damage. Nano. Big They're Nano. Slamming into the back line. Doing so much damage. Chalky Milk's there as well. Down Mischiefs, apart. Chalky Milk. Oh, my goodness. They are working together so well in this situation, and that is just unleashing <laughs> the ultimate. That was so mean. Disrespectful right there. Overall, great job from Cornell getting back into it, not letting Carthage get any, anything moving here. Yeah, I know. But uh, we got the Doomfist Ult back online. Um, we've got Nano and Coalescence on the side of Carthage here. 
got Graham in the back line using the Meteor Strike. Gonna see if he can pick up some kills here. Oh, get some he finds a job. lot, but the sleep will be effective. Lots on the slam as well with the Orisa. They're be doing so much in this situation. Meanwhile, the cart has nearly made it to the end. The trades are not going super great. One for one trades aren't great when you're so far away from your spawn and when your opponents are so close to theirs. Meanwhile, Gator Fan is getting hit by oh, literally every Orisa Spear, honestly. I think it's what's happening. His job has been to catch Orisa Spears. That's the main doing wonderfully. <laughs> doing wonderfully. But that's the main thing for push. It is so hard to get that last bit of distance here just because the spawn advantage is so much in favor of the defending team. Ram getting back oh. here, eating that spear. Hey, he's doing his duty, you know. Oh, great oh! sleep from Gavin. We caught that from Perky Oasis, and we love to Good see stick. it. The oh my god, the Ana. We're it just shows the superior shot. Ana, the sleep, and then the tracer on the uh, Cornell side doing the work that the other couldn't. True. Great job. Yeah. The damage was just pouring through mischiefs, doing the job of a tracer, harassing around the sides. And Cornell, I mean, they might not get their full cap, but with 10 seconds remaining, Things are looking pretty great as far as closing out the series as a three. Looks like it will be wraps. Seconds left on the clock for Carthage. They do get that overtime. Got the Nano on the Doomfist here. Getting tossed up by the Risa. Can't get them back to cart though. Really yeah. great job from Cornell there. 3 0 sweep. Cornell played beautifully. Truly. And that's going to be that for our first game. We'll be back with you in approximately eight minutes. For yeah. the second, and I don't know who that'll be against, but I'm sure we'll see fairly soon. And that one is indeed for the Taskmaster. Thank you, Gator Fan, for letting us know. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm looking for my phone charger because I'm at 10%. But anyway, okay. you know what? All right, Kyle's struggling. I'm we'll struggling. Stream. Wait, 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 wait. Do we end it or do we wait for the next? Can you entertain people for eight minutes? Fair point. All right. Thank you. We'll see you in about eight minutes, folks. Thank Goodbye. You.